Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2023 Grand Design Imagine model number 3250BH. Weighs 8,800 pounds, three slides, outside kitchen, great island kitchen on this guy. This is about as wild as getting on an airplane. The captain's got no shirt on. Beautiful trailer. And I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. How's it going, happy campers? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. There's a like button, there's a subscribe button. Smash them both. This is going to be a phenomenal video. We're excited about the new 2023s. Uh, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on TikTok, we're on all those. Having fun on all of them. Please follow us along there too. You're really going to enjoy this video. Right on, Brandon. We got our front power jack, 20 pound per paint tanks, battery and box location right in behind there. Great looking front fiberglass cap. I saw you showing off, Brandon. Good looking eyebrow lights. Now we do have a solar panel on the roof for this guy. It's a 165 watt solar panel with a 25 amp charge controller. And then also the 10 cubic foot 12 volt fridge. Pass through storage. That's a drop frame, 47 cubic feet of pass through storage in through there. That's enough for all your shame and regret. Outside shower, city water connection, fresh water fill, battery disconnect, outside receptacle, cable, satellite inlet, and then your Furion solar charge kit is up and through there. And then just in case you don't have an end on the hose, when you go to fill up your fresh water tank, you still have that gravity feed one right in through there. Four stabilizer jacks, one on each corner. Sewer drain down and through here. Rack and pinion style slide, pulling our couch and our bench dinette off the floor. Rack and pinion, baby. Rack and pinion, baby. Or on the back side here, we have a bunk slide, pulling the bunk throughout the floor, which we're gonna get to. Roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. That's part of owning a travel trailer or a fifth wheel. 50 amp detachable style cord. Up on the roof there, we got our prep for a backup camera. Six gallon gas, electric water heater. We have an outside spray port. Use that same like blue slinky hose you saw in the pass through, plug that into there. And then here's our outside kitchen. No sink in the kitchen, but we got the spray port. We have a receptacle out here. We got great storage in through there. We have our two cubic, or sorry, two burner stove top. Another little drawer in through here. And then also with the three cubic foot electric fridge in there. That's hydro though, so you gotta be plugged in to be using that. Furnace vent, our electric awning starts here. Covers our kitchen slide, that's a Schwintec style slide. Kitchen window, range hood vent, three step entrance. The electric awning covers both doors, outside speakers, our secondary set of stairs are just standard aluminum tread steps. But this door is important, Brandon, can you tell me why? Yes, because without this door, you wouldn't be able to get to the bathroom when you're driving and traveling because of the slides being closed. Now, do you suggest that when they're driving and traveling, they stop before they go in the washroom? Just give her. Just give her, eh? <laughs> Hop in from the side. Mm -hmm. Even our secondary door has a lend a hand grab handle, outside receptacle, outside TV hookup with a black water flush kit because the washroom's over on this side. That's fantastic. I feel like I'm missing something, Brandon. The tires. We got Goodyear aluminum rims, sorry, Goodyear tires, aluminum rims, nitro fill. They're 15 inches and they're looking good. Let's go have a look inside, folks. Right on, folks. We're inside that 3250BH bench dinette right here. It's great. We got a reversible cushion, so if you don't want the plaid, flip it around to that leatherette. This does go into a secondary bed and it's a seamless tabletop here that matches our counters brilliantly. We got storage underneath it. And then just span over here to the front side, Brendan. I've got a great view of the TV. Basically right across from me, that TV is across from the theater seats. This area really, really works really well. Theater seats here are an option. That's an upgrade technically, uh, but they do recline their heat and massage. You can option in the tri-fold sofa, which will give you more sleeping space if you want to. Windows all the way around there. And then across from the theater seats, we got the TV. We mentioned it. It's a TCL TV. It's on arm. So if you want to face it to the kitchen, you can actually get a great view of there while you're doing dishes, Brennan. Dude, watch the Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen, eh? Oh, yeah, that's a aggressive show, Brennan. Fiery. Fiery. <laughs> Storage there. <laughs> and then we got a glass piece here that separates off 
the radio, open storage, open storage, fireplace. We walk in the trailer, we can sit down, put our shoes on or take them off, hang up our jackets, storage in through here with our compass connect, and then storage there for hats and stuff like that. We like, we like the seat. That's also where they hide your breakers and your fuses down in through there. And then into the rest of the living space. We have a great kitchen area, island kitchen. Again, seamless counters, same kind of thing in through here. We got a nice kitchen window. Look at the size of these drawers. Full extension ball bearing drawer guides. Finished off nicely here with plywood. We got an even deeper pot and pan drawer in through here with the pegs so we can move these around, kind of set things up so they don't bounce around on us while we're traveling. Oven down below there with a light in it. We got blue lights on the knobs, glass stove top cover, Furion rain hood, microwave, and then here's your plates and cup action right there across the top. And then here is our 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge in through there. Looks good, eh? Looks great. Looks great, man. Here's our island. We talked about the countertop portion. Pull out faucet, undermount stainless steel single vessel sink with a drying rack built in. Nice cutlery drawers in through here. Again, finished with plywood. And then big storage here for recycling and garbage space. That's awesome. Now, our pantry is in behind this wicked barn door. It, there's a magnet that holds that down. Lots of pantry space. That is a motion sense of light as well, so that will pop on as you open up that door. And I love the detail in through here. Just not just a plain chain door, just nicely finished off. Door. I love the rails. The rails? Yeah. Right on. This Big is about fan. to go off the rails, Brandon. We got four bunks back in through here. Look how thick these mattresses are. Super thick. I noticed that too when we were opening it up. Yeah, it's really nice in through here. We can flip this bunk up out of the way. This can be just a chilling area down through here. We got drawers on either side. Look how far those come out. That's lovely. More drawers across. Lovely. Bed, bed. And then let's switch spots, Brendan, because we got this great storage here for kids clothes. Three more drawers here down below. And then we do have a vent, secondary TV location, and hookups in through there. And then all kinds of windows here at the backside too, Brendan. Now, as you look forward, you can see the nice natural arch to the roof, which is one of the differences between the regular Imagine and the XLS. Gives us a lot of height in through here. What did Jeff say, 81 inches? Yes, 81 inches. Right on. How tall are you, Brendan? That's math, buddy. So uh, 72 plus what? Well, 72 plus 6, so 78. 78. Yeah, so we got, we got room to spare. That's it. You're still growing? No. No, you're done. No, 25, you're done. <laughs> so porcelain toilet. That's a pretty pessimistic way of looking at it, Brendan. Right? I know, hey? We need to get, you, we need to get you on some steroids <laughs> yeah. and get you growing. We got a nice radius style shower door in through here. Lots of height in our skylight. A vent right above the toilet as well. And then a corner style, you know, medicine cabinet-ish thing. And then a legitimate medicine cabinet right over here on the other side. I got you moving around, baby. Eh, you got it. <laughs> Stainless steel sink with a cupboard there as well. Not very deep, but it, it is in there. Did you squat you? I don't know if I said dump truck fits. I did sit down. Okay, good. We were talking about how tall you were. Oh, right. We got hanging, st <laughs> <laughs> hanging storage, a set of drawers. Great cubby holes, receptacles, and USBs. And then you do got receptacles in uh, even further down in through here as well. It's a full size queen, 60 by 80, which is two inches longer than Brandon. <laughs> Storage there. And I like this, Brandon. Nice little rails are built in here. We're uh, stuck right now. I'm gonna look like a meat head. But, oh, jeepers. I've never had that happen. <laughs> there we go. Nice little sliding drawer in through there. Old no cut Allen. That's the video, folks. <laughs> hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.